Hi everyone. Today the topic is gate questions part 2 in chemical engineering thermodynamics. So the first question is dry ice is the options are solid helium, solid carbon dioxide, moisture free ice and none of these. So as already you know dry ice is nothing but solid carbon dioxide. So solid CO2 is called dry ice. So the answer is B. The second question is fugacity is most helpful in the options are A representing the actual behavior of ideal gases. Next option is representing the actual behavior of real gases. And the next option the study of chemical equilibria involving gases and none of these. So among this, the fugacity will be helpful in representing the actual behavior of real gases. So the answer is B. The next question is, the fugacity of a gas in a mixture is equal to the product of its mole fraction and its fugacity in the pure stage at the total pressure of the mixture. So this is a statement. So fugacity of a gas is equal to mole fraction x into fugacity in the pure stage. So this statement is called Louis Randall rule. So the options are given here. Henry's law, Louis Randall rule, Gibbs equation and none of these. So among this the answer is Louis Randall rule and the option is B. The next question is the number of degrees of freedom at the triple point of water is the options are 1 and B is 0, C 2, D is 3. So at the triple point the number of degrees of freedom F is 0. So, the answer is B. The next question is, throttling process is an dash process. So, the options are reversible and isothermal. The next option is irreversible and constant enthalpy. The next option is reversible and constant entropy. The last option is reversible and constant enthalpy. So the throttling process is an irreversible and constant enthalpy process. So the answer is B. So once if you do the throttling process it is irreversible and we will then do the process at constant enthalpy. So the answer is B. The next question is the unit of fugacity is the same as that of the options of A pressure, B temperature, C volume and D concentration. So the fugacity units are same as that of pressure units. So F is equal to P. So the units will be same as that of pressure. So the option is A. The next question is, the free energy change for a chemical reaction is given by the equation. The options are A, RT ln K, B, minus RT ln K, C, minus R ln K and D, T ln K. The free energy change, that is a delta G is equal to minus RT ln K, that is the option is B. So, as a, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature and K is the constant. So, the answer is B. The next question is, ideal gas law is applicable at the options are A, low temperature, low pressure, B, high temperature, high pressure, C, low temperature, 
high pressure and D high temperature low pressure. So the ideal gas law is applicable at high temperature and low pressure. So the option or the answer is D. The next question is the number of degrees of freedom for an azeotropic mixture in a two component vapor liquid equilibria are. So we are calculating the degrees of freedom for the azeotropic mixture. So the options are A1, B0, C2 and D3. So the answer is 1. So in the azeotropic mixture we get the degrees of freedom F as 1. So the answer is A. The next question and the last question is for an ideal liquid solution which of the following is unity? So in the solutions which, is, which of the following is unity? The options are A activity, B fugacity, C activity coefficient and D fugacity coefficient. So among these options the activity coefficient is unity. So A cap is unity. So the answer is C. So these are some of the questions in chemical engineering thermodynamics for the gate exam. So if you like my description, please subscribe my channel. Please like, share and comment my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.